Hello guys, hello E39, Fab from Dubai. Today we're gonna see how to remove a knocking sensor. So basically, what a knocking sensor is. A knocking sensor is a kind of very sophisticated microphone that is uh, listening where, when, and what's happening during the detonation. However, in French we call it detonation sensor. How it is? It is a tool, a microphone that will tell to the computer, okay, this is happening, this is not happening at this time, etc. And then it will help the computer to adjust the mixture and to set the proper time for detonation, for explosion. So it's named detonation sensor. What are the symptoms of uh, fucked up uh, sensors? Uh, knock sensors well the symptoms are can be very little like you will lose um, torque and power at very high rpm like when you will be around six five six thousand rpm you will uh, lose uh, any power uh, you can have also your car when you are just having the engine on and the car not um, moving at all you will feel fake vibration like if a Harley Davidson was about to, to die, like something erratic. Uh, then it can be more severe, like you have this yellow logo uh, on the dashboard telling an engine, an engine failure. You can have also um, the computer check when you plug this OBD computer, it's telling you uh, knock sensor 1, 2, 3, 4, because you have four knock sensors, they go by pairs of two, so you have two pairs of two. Uh, and finally, what happened, it happened to me, the engine goes in security mode, you don't have any power at all, um, your, your engine is almost uh, switching off because there is a very bad mixture and you al almost cannot drive more than 20 km per hour. The knocking sensors are located below the intake manifold, so I'm going to show you how to access to these bloody knocking sensors. So, we have been removing... Um, this stuff, oh, how it is, you have the intake manifold which is normally like that, this being on top, okay? So uh, you have to remove the ignition coils, one, two, three, four, you have to remove this ground cable, I think it's a ground cable, you have to do the same on the other side, like that. This is the fuel line. Uh, here are the injectors. To remove the fuel line, you have here to disconnect this, which is connecting to this. You have to press on this device, like that, and then you can pull it out. Okay, then you have to remove a few cables and connectors, one going down there, which is, I think, uh, it's uh, this one over there. Um, you have to dismantle a couple of things, then you can access to the bolts that are holding the manifold in place. Tac, tac, you have five from each side. It's uh, a wrench of 11, and here are the bolts and this uh, stuff going like that inside the manifold. At the back of the manifold, you have just to pop out some hoses like this one and like uh, another one uh, oil return which is this yellow and black okay you just have to pop it out that's it and then you are good uh, to m rotate this one on the left in the manifold On the right, the knocking sensors are connecting to the electrical boxes. This is this kind of connectors. You are having one here, one over there, and same on the other side. One here, and one down there. Uh, this is the only stuff you have to do, you unscrew, you put it back in place, and you are done. So I don't know if you heard me, I said, because I have I had my hands on the microphone. This is uh, knocking number one, knocking sensor number two, number three, 
number four you just have to unscrew to change this two connectors to reconnect back to the electrical boxes uh, this stuff and you are good to go have a good day stay dirty bye bye